Eddie, you win the cup last year, you get into Europe, you know, and obviously that's what you'd hope to achieve this coming year. And whenever you talk about the other teams, let's say, you know, in the top echelon in the Irish League, it's almost like a, a two tier Irish League, I would almost suggest, you know, um, it's going to be tough. There's some quality sides out there. The Irish League last year was a fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, championship. You've just got to look at Logie, you know, even when the split came, the bottom six, top six, and throughout the course of the season, the amount of teams in the bottom six had beaten teams in the top six or teams in the top six had struggled against teams in the bottom six to, to get a result and that's that's the the whole quality of the way that this league has has progressed over the course of the last couple of seasons but um you know this season e even you look at Dungannon three or four new faces in Coleraine exactly the same Balamina the same again uh, and and teams are, are are adding to their their, their squads and then at the top end You've got your Linfields and your Blues who have added through the, the course of progressing in Europe, have been able to add more players to it. And for me, as I said before, looking at the Crusaders setup, you know, Stephen Baxter spent very, very wisely in the January transfer window. And, and he's continued that with another two, three quality season uh, signings in the, in the, at the close season. Um, so for me, you know, I think it's going to be just as exciting at the top as it was last season, but I think uh, you know it's a it's a big toss up who that top six and who that bottom six is going to be. Over the course of the last couple of seasons, you could have maybe um, projected that and said X, Y, and Z, A, B, and C are going to be here. I think this season, you know, it will be a wee bit longer to pan out. I heard Enda talking earlier on about the the way the so called the the, the lesser teams have that wee bit of spurt at the start, and then the results start going against them, and then they fall away. That will happen in the Irish League again, but I think it will be a lot longer this term rather than the couple of uh, four or five games at the start of the season the way it was over the course of the last couple of seasons.